going somewhere? Yes, what is it? It is. Are you family? Then perhaps I'll see you inside. Didn't forget your invitation, did you? Yeah, what is it? Giovanni, oh yeah, here's the place. I haven't met you before. Are you a family member of member of the family? Is that right? Hell of a family to be born into or married into or both. You have an invitation with you? Hey, don't worry about it. I'm sure they'll let you in. Just tell them and they just tell them you just tell them you lost it. <laughs> I lose things all the time. Maria, Maria Rosalini. Yes, what is it? She'll be fine after I get a pot of coffee in her. Well, she did pretty much cause the last function to come to a screeching halt. That woman has the self-control of a pubescent chimpanzee. Come on, Maria. We're going home. Not now. You have invitation. Mm. Please have a wonderful time. well be a costume party. Everyone's smiling, pretending this isn't a pageant put on by the patriarch of this family. Fine. But this is a contest, and I came to win. Hmm. Mira. Mira Giovanni. They gather us up here to decide just who's the best and brightest of this generation is. The lucky few are given the real power in this family. But some of us need to win more than others. Oh, forget it. You wouldn't understand. Forget it. I've said too much already. Actually, there are two people at this party I know they had their eye on for a long time. One's Chris, my cousin. The other's Adam, who made Bruno a huge amount of money on tech investments a few years back. With them out of the running, they choose me. Uncle Bruno. Since I was a kid, he's been the patriarch of this family. Except he hasn't aged today. I met with a senator from Massachusetts who asked me if I was related to Bruno Giovanni. Said Uncle Bruno helped him with his first campaign. Back in 1950, we've all heard the rumors. The core of our family, they never age. They're secretive. Whispers of blood magic and a kiss. Whatever it is, they pick the very best of us for it. I'd do anything to be picked. I've made some errors in judgment, 
but I've lobbied hard for this family's interests. What? Forget it. I'm not saying anything about that. Oh, I'm Christopher, Giovanni, and you are? Hmm, this is a family reunion. Don't you think it's a little inappropriate? I mean, we could be first cousins. Not that that's gotten in the way of some of our relatives' romances, but... Another person at the party who's not a Giovanni. I mean, forget it. Nothing to be concerned about. Excuse me. Family events. How many more of these do we have to attend before we're taken seriously? I mean, honestly. They're pitting us against our own flesh and blood for the privilege of joining the power clique. All you hear is, what have you done? How much did you make? Who do you know? You can't tell anyone anything, because they might use it against you. The heart says no, but the businessman in me tells me to smear them into the ground. I guess I would. And I know they probably do the same. Yeah, I guess I would. Hey there, Adam Dunser. I don't think we've met. You are? Maria, pleasure to meet you. What line of work are you in? Myself, I'm an investment banker. Great business, lot of potential. For example, I got the inside track on this company right now. And let me tell you, when this company goes public, everyone's going to wish they had a piece of it. Well, I know somebody at the company, and that's what they call insider trading. I could lose my job for that. Well, it's a biotech firm. You know they're working on growing replacement organs. Really fascinating technology. In a couple of years, I'd bet everyone will be going to them for parts. I figure an investment of $50,000 could be easily tripled in five years. You take risks in this game. Sometimes you make a million, sometimes you lose a million. The economy changes. It's had problems lately, but it's bound to rock it back any week now. I won't lie to you. I've had a couple of busts here and there, had a few losses, it happens. But this company, this is the big score right here. Anything you wanted to invest, 50, 30, 15 grand, whatever, it's high yield, low risk. Well, the business, it's... Yeah, I guess I would. Family events. Oh. How many more of these do we have to attend before we're taken seriously? I mean, 
Honestly. I'm sorry, I've got a lot on my mind lately. If you'll excuse me. Oh, hello again. Yes? Given that opportunity, some thought? Well, it's a biotech firm. You know, they're working on growing replacement organs. Really fascinating technology. In a couple of years, I'd bet everyone will be going to them for parts. I figure an investment of $50,000 could be easily tripled in five years. Do you have cash? Credit? We could set it up over the phone right now. You'd really be helping me out a lot and making a tidy profit to boot. It's just that business is a little slow lately, but you know how the economy is. It goes down, but it'll shoot right back up again. And this is the horse to bet on, I guarantee it. I won't lie to you, I've had a couple of busts here and there, I've had a few losses, it happens. But this company, this is the big score right here. Anything you wanted to invest, 50, 30, 15 grand, whatever, it's high yield, low risk. Well, the business, it's... Okay, all right. You change your mind, you let me know. Sarcophagus? I might have heard something. Isn't that a nanotech firm? Well, it's a biotech firm. You know they're working on growing replacement organs. Really fascinating technology. In a couple of years, I'd bet everyone will be going to them for parts. I figure an investment of $50,000 could be easily tripled in five years. You take risks in this game. Sometimes you make a million, sometimes you lose a million. The economy changes. It's had problems lately, but it's bound to rock it back any week now. I won't lie to you. I've had a couple of busts here and there. I've had a few losses, it happens. But this company, this is the big score right here. Anything you wanted to invest, 50, 30, 15 grand, whatever. It's high yield, low risk. Well, the business, it's... Okay, all right. You change your mind, you let me know. What? Oh, uh, sure. You're no Uncle Bruno. I'm sorry, I've got a lot on my mind lately. If you'll excuse me. What? Oh, uh, sure. Sarcophagus? What sarcophagus? Out this room, second room on your left. What? Oh, uh, sure.
Family events. Uh, how many more of these do we have to attend before we're taken seriously? I mean, honestly. They're pitting us against our own flesh and blood for the privilege of joining the power clique. All you hear is, what have you done? How much did you make? Who do you know? You can't tell anyone anything because they might use it against you. The heart says no, but the businessman in me tells me to smear them into the ground. I guess I would. And I know they probably do the same. Yeah, I guess I would. Sarcophagus? I thought they closed that place down after they found that missing cheerleader doped up in the back. That was years ago, though, when I was in high school. Uh, hi. I'm, uh... Um, thanks. Nadia Milliner, it's a pleasure to meet you, Maria. Are you from the Chicago Rosalinis? Oh, you must give my regards to Great Aunt Frances when you get back. I stayed with her last time I was out that way. She was very sweet to me. I'm working on my master's out here. I'm from back east. The Giovannis have been nice enough to let me stay here while I finish up my studies. I've learned a great deal from them, like you wouldn't believe. I, um, I really can't say much about that. I forget about it, really. It's nothing. Okay, I'll show you something, but you can't tell anyone. Promise? Follow me. Come on. You know what they do in this room? Mm-hmm. Know what they do with the corpses? I shouldn't do this, but... Why don't I show you? It gets pretty weird from here. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, and be ready to run. You'll understand when it happens. Follow me. Shh. They don't usually attack. 
Just don't provoke them. In here. In here. Here. In here. This way. This way. This way. I don't know what happened back there, but I know a way through this next part. Can you believe all this? This is like something out of a horror movie. Oh, here it is. We should be safe from here on, this way. In here. This way. What was that? Did you hear that? This is all too much. I'm going back upstairs. You do what you want.
Kindred, your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now, or face the consequences of your actions. There is an alliance between your leader, LaCroix, and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go? The time for decisions has passed. We Chang brothers accept your life graciously.
Outstanding. There was some doubt by members of my court as to your ability, but I placed my faith wisely. Finally, the Ankaran sarcophagus is ours. Come, I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. What? Preposterous! No kindred would trust them, nor would they trust us. Did Jack tell you that? Because it sounds like you've been taken for a fool. And you believed them. They've been trying to take over L.A. for years. It's a ruse, a falsehood, spread to undermine my rule and turn kindred against each other, thin our ranks. They are duplicitous, evil creatures. Did they not try to kill you? Insurance. They lied to you in case you lived through the encounter. They hoped to create dissension in the ranks, rumors. It's a trick older than you or I. I'll indulge your baseless paranoia no further. Let's open the sarcophagus. What have you assessed so far? Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> Budge. Beckett, do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't as yet had a chance to pour over it with my fine-tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <clears throat> Why won't it... Why won't it open, Beckett? And you? I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane. I want it open! You. You and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus, if only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. Put your ear to it. I'll shake it, and you tell me what you think's inside. Hmm. Fortunately for us, I know of someone who has distinguished himself in this field. Uh, no. His name is Dr. Anders Johansson. A professor of archaeology from Norway. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper. Appears he's been abducted. I did find a pair of bikini swimwear and a book detailing the origins of various Turkish dialects. I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding Johansson captive. Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building opposite the hotel who were positively delighted to tell me everything they knew, provided I stopped dangling them headfirst over the side.
No. Only the stupid and careless get caught by hunters. They serve their purpose in the natural order. The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection. Or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used quite ingeniously as bait for Prince LaCroix's minions. You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. Remember, Dr. Johansson is an innocent. He has no idea we actually exist. Try not to put the idea in his head. Did you find a way to open the sarcophagus? I understand. I'm sure you'll find this suitable recompense. Did you find a way to open the sarcophagus? Which is... Yes. The Voce del Morte. The Giovanni never willingly share their secrets, and I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from the city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. It is the key of Alamut. It instills dread in those that would harm you, and makes it harder for them to strike you. Make no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. I will give you this final advice, however. Leave this city. These are its final nights. Discord looms heavy. I've felt this before. In November of 1938, I was translating documents in Leipzig, Germany, written by a purported Crusades-era necromancer. There also, I felt a sense of impending chaos. Soon after was the Kristallnacht, the wellspring of a new world war.
I don't want baby girl. You know I got what you need. There you are. I was beginning to think you ditched me. Money, right? Been a while. Your money's been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. 